Hey team, so I wanted to throw a really simple, really basic usage of Rhythmizer in that somehow didn't even occur to me until later on. And so first of all, we're gonna look at some kind of funky 80s stuff that sounds like this. And then we're gonna get down to some dirty side trance, which sounds like this. When I finished creating and editing the video walkthrough series for the launch of Rhythmizer Ultra, I was playing around in this Cubase project, just making some presets for the launch of the device. And I came across a sort of usage or behavior for Rhythmizer, which was so basic, so simple, that I don't know how I didn't even think of it before. And it's not a way I've even seen people really using the device but it is so incredibly useful and simple. Because the whole thing with Rhythmizer is that we think of it as something that generates melodies. We pick the best bits or it, or it resamples from samplers. It creates the whole thing and then we can perform that or we can edit it later. I, but I was actually creating my own melody from scratch. I was creating these chords. Let's just listen to the chords. Just sort of playing around with an idea like that. And this instance of pigments I was using, I'd actually forgotten that earlier I'd had that rooted to a rhythmizer. That rhythmizer was muted. And when I realized that this rhythmizer was being sent to it, I just unmuted it and, and this is what it sounds like. So what it's doing is it's just adding on top of my chords. And what it sounds like to me is when you hear, for instance, a very accomplished keyboard player who knows how to hold down a groove and a melody, but put little flourishes, little improvised fills at the end. And so it's taking my melody and it's enhancing it. I think of this as a melody booster. And so what I did is I used a step sequencer so that it's reliably always coming in on the same notes. Over here in this scale section, I just dialed in some notes from the major scale. In the poly stacking, I've got the polyphony up. So I'm only getting chords. These chords are being built from these notes. And I also have it tuned up an octave. So I could even record those notes in. Just merge that all together. So look at these cool kind of chord accompaniments it's added to my melody. Just, just lifting it, not changing it, just giving it a little boost. Now let's get a bit more deep, dirty and advanced for the psychedelic trance crowd. Okay, so like the Cubase segment, instead of using Rhythmizer Ultra to just generate whole lines, I've already created my line, but I've left some gaps in it, and I want Rhythmizer Ultra to fill in those gaps with randomized material. So let's hear it without Rhythmizer. Cool, and then I'll enable the MIDI clip on Ultra. So what's going on here? What I've done, as well as some cheeky mapping, which I can get to later, is I'm using the step sequencer to play only on the notes that fill in the gaps in my MIDI. And some of you might be wondering, wait, how the heck did you get all these steps? But if you right click in this area, you do actually get some different bar length options. That was actually in the manual, but nobody reads those anymore. So I filled these steps in. I wanted two bars, so I've got a little bit of variation here. I started with the Phrygian scale, 
And then I customize it by just sort of taking out some of the notes. And let's have a listen. I can put the gate right up. I prefer the shorter gate notes. I can throw some random octaves in there. And then yeah, I can just overdub my MIDI line with rhythmizer extras. Probably can take the octaves off first. Nice, so it's just added these little bits and we can edit that further. And yes, I do have some mapping going on. I have made a whole video about how to set mapping up, so I'm not gonna get into it here. But yes, I'm using this Ultra Mapper device we made for live. I'm sending out some filtering. I've used another Ultra Mapper slot for some very occasional meta flanger. Then I also have some occasional delay mix automation going on. Let's increase that likelihood. Oh, and the synth patch is from my Serum Bank Echotronics on the Futurephonic store. The skin is also our Futurephonic Serum skin, which you can get for free at the Futurephonic store. So yeah, I'd love to see some people incorporating this melody booster technique to add little sort of improvised flourishes to the melodies which they're writing. <laughs> 